Good evening. It's uh, Thursday, June 17th. I'm going to throw a few more pots trying to fill this kiln. I don't like firing my kilns partially full and I ended up one shelf worth short for this next bisque firing. And normally I would just be making pots like crazy, but we've got this rearrangement of the studio to do, so I'm trying to be unusually efficient. So this clay is uh, Cone 6 Black uh, that I get at uh, Rockers. It's designed to look like it's been fired in a reduction kiln when it has been fired in an oxidation electric environment. Uh, unfortunately, some of the ingredients to, to make it look darker also then sort of muddy the glazes. So it's not the sort of thing that's universally wonderful under every glaze. You sort of have to try it out and see how it works and, and remember when it's glazing time. The original recipe for this clay was developed by uh, the late Yoshi Ikeda, professor at um, Kansas State University. And then uh, for many years it was produced by um, Flint Hills Clay. And then Flint Hills Clay got bought up by uh, Brockers when, when uh, uh, the guy who was running it wanted to retire, so. So it's not magic, people make it happen. Okay, I don't tend to worry about the outsides of bowls because I know I'm gonna be trimming. But I do wanna think about how, how the food and the spoon are going to interact. And of course, whether or not, you know, like a soup bowl, someone's lip is likely to get up against that rim. Which is why we use the, the chamois, which helps lift the finer particles up to the surface making for a, a smoother surface. So, and because this bowl is a little wide, I'm gonna actually take advantage of the, uh, the bat and not remove the bowl from the bat, which I could, I mean, it's a narrow enough base, but I have the luxury, so why not? That's one reason to have more than one bat. Anyway, have a good day.